It'll always burn, and if you're tired of men pulling away, not knowing why or what to do about it, stick around, because I'm gonna help you figure it out once and for all in our episode today. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life to be.com. Today is another edition of Get the Love You Crave. And today I'm super excited because I'll be sharing with you why men pull away and most important of all, what to do about it. You've had the situation perhaps in your life or a friend of yours has had it or connect to an amazing guy and he seems to be really motivated, really driven, really into you, doing the right things. And all of a sudden when you start falling for him, when you start opening up, when you start being vulnerable, he disappears, he vanishes and he's nowhere to be seen and you start getting anxious because you don't know what to do. You don't know if you should text him or call him or say, hey, what happened? And sometimes even if you do, he responds in this weird random way that doesn't let you know that he's really into it. So you feel frustrated. So here's, I'm gonna share with you right now top three reasons why men pull away and most important of all, what to do about it. Number one reason why men pull away is because they don't feel enough emotional motivation to go for it. They don't feel enough drive inside towards you or in life about themselves or in general to actually do something to earn your heart and to connect with you, right? It might be that the guy has something else going on, it might be that the guy is focused on other things, but the truth is he's not connecting. So there's a couple of reasons why this happens. Number one, he's not feeling you completely, meaning you haven't shown him enough aliveness, passion, some connection, some spark that makes him want to wake up and move mountains and do whatever it takes to connect with you. So if that's the case, at that moment, there's nothing you can do until you meet him again. So if, if he's not connecting with you, there's nothing else to do at that moment. But when you do connect with him, you need to show your aliveness and connect with him in such a way that you're carefree and playful and showing who you really are without holding back. Another reason why he could basically be not enough motivated, not enough motivation to actually make this happen is if he's not smart enough to recognize your value. That's another thing. Sometimes women blame themselves for guys not showing up and they go, incessantly crazy, you know, like, why is this not happening? Why is this guy not connecting? And the truth is some men don't recognize the truth of, uh, if you can give him a guy diamonds and, and gold and he doesn't feel the difference between that and like fake jewels, you know? So the guy they're connecting with is not smart enough, despite you showing up strongly to recognize your worth, then that's a guy that you shouldn't waste your time with, okay? But um, second reason why men disappear or stop following through or don't take action is sometimes men are not commitment minded. Meaning there's many guys who have this vague idea of what relationship is and are kind of playing the game, playing the field, fucking around. And if the guy that you're connecting with is this type of guy, not commitment minded, then he's doing you a favor by disappearing, right? Because when a guy starts showing up, and you show up strongly, he starts getting afraid sometimes because if you mean business and he's really not looking about, thinking about commitment, then he starts freaking out because he doesn't know what to do, he doesn't know how to deal with it, he doesn't want to feel attached or smothered, so he disappears, right? That's another reason why guys disappear. Now, at the bulk of that is number three. The third reason why guys disappear and don't follow through or don't take action is when guys get scared of losing their freedom, okay? If a man starts losing his freedom, he freaks out. Right? And sometimes what happens is a guy hasn't felt what it is that you offer basically in such a strong way where the freedom that he, he feels he's getting from being single and being a bachelor is strong enough. And here's what I mean. The value and the power and the aliveness and the love that you can offer a man who is commitment minded has, is tremendously more powerful than the freedom he's going to experience from the variety of what he's getting. Right. So when he gets a chance to experience that directly from you in a way that's connected, it's game over for him because that freedom is a lot more intense than the freedom of variety, right? It's intense in a way variety a little bit, but then overall it loses its power, right? Freedom of the kind you can offer a guy when you fully connect yourself is much stronger. So just recognize that if you're bringing aliveness and you're bringing an open heart and the guy's not feeling it, the guy's not connecting, the guy's not doing what it takes, then it's a chance for you to like, forget about him, right? The last thing I'll tell, I'll tell you right now is that if you want a guy to reconnect with you or if you want a guy to stop, start pursuing you again and he's not doing that, the best thing you can do is nothing at all, okay? The best thing you can do is lean back and here's what I mean. Most women go into this crazy thing where they start playing games or where they call the guy or where they pursue the guy or some sort of combination of those things. And it usually doesn't work because it makes the guy even more scared about this thing. But if you lean back, if you say, you know what, you don't want to connect with me, fine. 
have it your way and have the guy, don't call him, don't text him, don't play games, let the guy feel the pain of not experiencing you. Two things will happen as you continue doing fun things in your life, as you continue connecting with people in your life, as you continue connecting with men, as you continue doing amazing things to feel that passion and that purpose that you have. Either the guy will say, you know what, I don't like this and I want to connect with that woman. She's a high value woman that I want to connect with or he's going to say, you know what, I don't miss this at all, in which case you win as well. So if the guy connects with you because he feels your absence, you win. If the guy doesn't have what it takes and doesn't connect with you, you win because guess what happens? It opens the space for somebody else who's more passionate, more alive, more connected, can see the value in you to connect with you and make something amazing happen. So if you like this information, if you think this is insightful, if you think this is powerful, I invite you to do three things. Number one, click like on this video right now. Number two, subscribe to my channel so you don't miss more episodes. And number three, on the description box of this video, there's gonna be a link for you to subscribe to a three-part uh, video series. Just click on the link below and you'll subscribe to that series and get a lot more in-depth into the topics that I'm talking about right now. If you have questions for me, make sure to write a comment below and let me know what your questions are and I'll be happy to answer them personally. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always, I challenge you to live a full and conscious life.